Good morning, good afternoon, good evening friends. This is Kevin once again from Personal Tutors. Today I'm going to speak about simple notion of the English language. Now as we know, we as Indians, we commit a lot of mistakes while speaking the English language. We should know one thing very clearly that there are a lot many versions of the language that we are talking about right now. The personal mistake that everybody does is the common notion between the British English and the American English. Although there are many more notions as Canadian, New Zealand, Scottish, there are notions out there. But looking today as the point we Indians commit mistake, I'm going to explain some briefs that we do in our daily communication. The first problem that we go ahead and face is the addition of S. For example, get versus gets. Now this is the common mistake that we add up, adding up the S word everywhere in the sentences that we try to go ahead and create on our own. We should remember the addition of the extra s changes the sense and the mood of the sentence. So the first mistake that we need to eradicate is the, the unfollowing of the addition of s in every communication of ours. The next problem that we face is between there and there. The first there here depicts a person's personal belonging and there depicts a place. For example, I would be going ahead and giving you a short sentence is that I would be going there. Now there here depicts a specific place, a notion, a state or a subject. There belongs to belonging. Somebody going ahead and bringing something on their own. They brought their own lunch. You got the point now. Another mistake that we use is the biggest one in the matter of the comma. That is the misuse of the comma. While making a sentence, we do not know exactly where the comma has to be added. A lot of people go ahead and add up a comma before the word that. We do not rec recognize the fact that the word that is just an addition to join two sentences or two clauses. So that is the thing that the word that goes ahead and adds up two sentences that is a subject to the cause. So we go, we go ahead and add up a comma at every way. We need to go ahead and recognize the thing that the comma is a short pause, a verbal pause to emphasize the cause of the subject or the sentence. Blunder versus mistake. Now we go ahead and add up he, big, he made a big blunder by committing the mistake. Now blunder itself is a synonym of the word mistake, we need to go ahead and emphasize that we need to eradicate the usage of blunder and mistake in the same sentence. More versus better. I would like to you I would like you to do it more better. Now this is the common mistake that we here in our nation commit because better is just a superficial form of doing something again and more is again repeating the thing once again in the sentence does versus do does now do is a commandative sentence and does comes in a specific form of a verb or a noun doing an activity he does the work you better do the work now this is the sentence that how would we phrase which versus that which is a collective verb and that is an adaptive word so we need to go ahead and work up on objective versus collective now who versus whom who who refers to a perfect person whom refers to an infinite person that we may not go ahead and know who is going to do the work to whom, I, whom am I speaking? Who is going to do the work specifies a group of people having choices. But whom is not a specific verb. Comma before that. As I mentioned earlier, we here in India learn that while joining two sentences, we need to add up a comma. Now, knowing this thing that the word that is actually a word that actually joins the two sentences so we need to eradicate the fact that that has to go ahead and add up a few words on it again I would be going ahead and quoting on uncapitalization before every quote as we know the quote is used in the form of direct speech now direct speech here depicts the exact words of the speaker that are being said or told or narrated 
by the third person. So when we are going to go ahead and put up a quote, we need to start with the capitalization of the word. That means, for example, she said, I would be going, so I need to be capitalized. Forgetting the question mark, how are you? A simple short sentence gone ahead and spoken. But here we forget to add up a question mark because every sentence that has a question in it needs to have a question mark. My friends, you better go ahead and work upon these things. These things are definitely going to go ahead and improve your narrative skills as well as writing skills in the language that we as Indians commit. The next thing would be place versus place. Place refers to a specific country, town, area. Well, place is a fish. It's a fish, exactly. Except versus except. This is a common mistake that I used to commit as well a few years ago. Later on, I realized that, that except would be taking something. We would be going ahead and taking something that goes as except. Whereas except stands in for an exception. That means exception between two or more things. So the point except versus except lies over here. It's and it's. It's refer to a proper notion of a noun or a pronoun. Whereas it's is just a small form of it is. Envy versus jealousy. Envy goes ahead into the feeling of trail, trailing somebody of through any any notion that we say is a negative form whereas jealousy is a more superficial and a saddened lower form of en being envy may versus might may here goes and depicts a specific thing to be done whereas might leads to an unspecific object or subject over here for example may i help you here we are talking about the specific form of a verb but might i might help you creates a notion of being more less noticeable or unpredictable fewer versus less fewer fewer versus less is again considered to be a blunder in the language that we go ahead and connect because fewer denotes the same form of the less so using the same notion in the sentences creates a wrong point since versus because since is a word that is used to define the exact time because is a reasonable word it is used to give a few reasons so the difference between since and the because is hence explained bring versus take bring the box take the box bring goes ahead and gives an order in a sentence whereas take stands up as a request as a sense of a term being explained and many more things Ad averse versus adverse my friends this is the last point that i'm going to explain averse versus adverse i'll go ahead with adverse adverse is something negative that people go ahead and form taking the wrong medicine may create an adverse effect on your health whereas not more, pe not more people were averse with the fact. Now, averse here stands for a negation held between people, whereas adverse is a definitely form of the verb that is used over here. Thank you very much, friends. Today, I explained some common mistakes. You can go ahead and press the button about us. You can get the data online as well and in a pen drive. Thank you very much. Thank you.